everybody and welcome back to Danny and Son's Real Tech Mod Tech Mod Pack. <laughs> right, oh, as you can see, I've got flames in front of me. And I woke up this morning to a disaster. My solar tower has just turned into a uh, rather large pile of lava. <laughs> Oops. So, you can't leave it running all the time. So let's just start clearing this up a bit. <laughs> it wasn't my intention of today's episode to do that. Let's take out eight of these. And shove them in the hopper here. Let them get smelted up. We need to make. I think I need to make a thing. So let's just have a look. What I was intending to do, I haven't actually written it down. But oops, try again. Oh yeah, Fidzar tells me to add a flint with the sharpening kit to upgrade the tools. Let's have a look at that one. Actually, that because that's no big deal. I've definitely lost that backpack. I do not know where it is at all. Where have I put my sharpening kits? Ah, here we go, here's one here like that. So for example, and a flint. I think I've got plenty of flints around, but which chest they're in, it should be here. No, where have I put my flints? Oh, I've had to actually find a hole for them in here. I don't think I did. I probably should do actually. Oh, there we go, 38. So if we now add this to the... Oh, and I did move this over here. I said I was going to, didn't I? Let's go and have a look at this. So I moved everything around here so we can basically put things on the on the tool forge now. So I would like to, say, upgrade the iron pickaxe here. So let's upgrade that with a sharpening kit and a flint. And then we get a cobalt level mining pit with reasonable good mining speed. I have six. I think the... Silk touch one slightly better, but uh, it's not too difficult. I also upgraded this. I, I took, I replaced one of the blades for paper, and then I could add in because it's got writable too. I hadn't noticed it when I was doing this uh, until I saw an episode from Danny and so He says, "Oh, look, you can get writable too, and this gives you two more modifiers. Two more modifiers plus three makes five, which means I can make it unbreakable." which also means I've got unlimited ammo just for a demonstration let's go hitting this thing no damage to it at all which is really great actually I don't know where they go to those when you pick them up again but at least you go somewhere a wrong, wrong door so that's nice thank you very much for that tip now well, let's go back to this check board today so what I was going to do is going to go and do another fortress But I ain't sure I'm going to get time to do that today. I've got to do a bit of cleaning up. So the first thing we're going to have to do is make a tank. I made one already. I'm going to have to make another tank. So I've got the plate cast here. Let's, plate, let's cast some plates. Hopefully those have smelted reasonably well done. I've got three. We need about eight, I think. So I maybe have to do this in a couple of goes. And I will also put the part, the cast chest here. So which is a good place to put it. Okay, I was going to get two. So we've got three, yeah. I'll wait, come back in. In the meantime, I'll get a bucket, I think, and start to fill up some of this. So let's get some buckets. Remember where I put them? That is probably the big chest at the back here. Seems to be where I keep most of my stuff these days. So let's start clearing the stuff away here. It's destroyed quite a lot, really. It's made some cobblestone, which is... <laughs> uh, Anyway, I won't do this on camera because it's going to take a very long time. And in fact, I don't even think I'll go and make the, the chest. What I'll do with these two is I'll put these into the smeltery. I think there's about 26 blocks there because I just did a quick test to see how many blocks of lava it had produced. And I was going, oh, well, it's a bit of a shame, isn't it? After all that work to get that thing going. But it shouldn't be too difficult to fix. I think I can get one more bucket in there. Let's go and get another bucket. No, let's not. Let's go and have a look at the, um, the mob farm, see how we're doing with that. Um, it's actually working. I moved a few bits and pieces back. Basically, these lanterns here, I moved them back to make sure that they were 32 blocks away. So, let's go inside. Yeah, let's find the entrance, that is. Here. Now, I have got with me, let's get rid of this pollution. I don't need the pollution with me. So, let's take the diamond, put this one on here. And take the vacuum tube here and let's just 
Well, let's get rid of these because we don't need these anymore. They don't. They won't. Come, they won't come again. Now, is there anybody there? Yes, there is. Look, there's a skeleton. <laughs> now this is on, but he's not moving around. Of course, there's obviously other stuff in here because you can see. So I'm not going to open the trap door while the skeleton's there. Right, so we'll go up. We'll go and shoot him from the top if he doesn't. If he doesn't die in the process, let me just have a look at the markers here. Um, and just turn off the crush one. I think it's gone, isn't he? He might well have moved a bit. You know, he needs to move a little bit, and then it'll be on the on the mob grinder. Yes, he has moved. I think he has. Right, let's open the door. Oh, I need to put a lever on there first, don't I? So we've got rid of the pollution, so we can put this lever on here like this. Let's do it from this direction. Don't have a look. Let's see if we've got anything else in here. Oh, I have. Look, some arrows. Oh, of course, we've got no magnetic. Let's just pick get my magnetic on. So that's my magnetic helmet here. So they got picked up and the arrows got picked up. No, come over here. You. That's right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have to put down some more um, uh, conveyor belts. Obviously, we close the top so we don't have any mobs down here. Is it night time already? Goodness gracious me! It looks like it's night time. Indeed, it is. We'll have a quick sleep. But there are obviously mobs around here because you can see them on the mini map. And they are that direction, so there must be something in that direction, like a cave. So I'm going to have to go exploring for caves and see if I can find them. There's certainly some up here. We can see those. Let's have a quick trip up here. I did find one. Let's get a little bit prepared. I want my shuriken, and beside my shuriken, I want some torches. Now I think, as you can see, there's lots of mobs around here. Another fellow's got the shuriken in my hand. <laughs> I think there's a cave down here somewhere. Indeed, there is. Look here. So we're going to have to go and put some torches down this cave. I've been down once. <laughs> got very, very nearly killed from that one. Little uh, excursion with creepers. I did manage to put down the torch, at least one anyway. Now, is there anybody around here that I can see? I look like some creep uh, skeletons over there. That's a zombie. So even oh, he dropped, he dropped a bandage. Good. Oh, I can hear him. Shum. Even with the, even with the reduced damage, it's still quite an effective weapon. This so let's just make sure we get no creepers around beside me, because they would be not good. I can hear another one. Where is it? Straight in front of me somewhere. Because of the darkness in this. Oh, there he is, look. So it's a bit, a bit exciting, and I've got to go and do something similar to this in the nether. So, what I really want to do is prevent these mobs from spawning down here. I've got two more torches. What's that? That's oh, just a stone. They're probably too close together. I probably should move them a bit. So that's that's a good example of how effective the shuriken is. As it happens, <laughs> that time I didn't get got by anybody. 
and we've lit up a little bit of the area so hopefully we'll get rid of some more of the mobs but there's still definitely some down there and let's just turn on the the marker for the um for the, cru uh, for the crusher or it's really the mob grinder i probably could rename that one for it uh, oops oh. <laughs> oh i removed it never mind actually what i can do is i can turn on corners actually um And then we can see roughly on the minimap where they are. They're over there, somewhere over there. So that's what the area we've got to clear out anyway. That's probably got to clear out a load of all the all the areas underneath are probably going to be cleared out and lit up. But obviously I don't want to use torches because of pollution. How do I get down here from here? Oh, yeah, I don't know. So I would still like to go and find a fortress. But first of all, I'll clear up this mess. <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm not really. It was a, uh, it was quite a lot of work to get the solar tower built, but uh, at least we haven't lost the solar mirrors. They don't seem to have suffered from that. So we got a bandage from there. We got some small bones and we got some more rotting flesh. Let's put this away in here like this. So the mob grind is working a, reason, a bit, not too well. So I'll just quickly make a ch get this one. I should have all of those melted now. Yes, they're good. They're all smelted away. I wonder if there's a red. I know we've got redstone automation in this pack. I could even set up a redstone clock. using a standard ma a vanilla method which might work just to tick it over on onto this okay so we've got eight so i need to just make this chest up so basically um chest two that'll make these we need five so we've got eight now uh, you'll notice I've got some slime balls. Those ones came from honey, and I've got some more jellyfish because I was fishing again. So we've got 19. That should help get some more conveyor belts. I think I've already made. I made some jelly slime with the other eight. So you need eight slime balls for a, for a suit, which I'm quite pleased about. Um, as you can see, it's coming up towards. It's actually summer now, isn't it? Let's have a look at. The, oh, I didn't put temp 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 <laughs> tan temp info on. I'll be, I'll be able to say that once. So now we're season plus five. I think it goes up to season plus seven, and this biome. Oh yeah, no, no, we're right in the middle of summer now, so that's great. Right, I shall see you in a minute when I've got rid of this well i got rid of it as you can see actually it's strangely enough the, the jack-o-lantern didn't burn in the lava and one machine block stayed as well so <laughs> i've got to build another one of those to towers i wonder what we need for that because i have forgotten and the, the recipe in the in the book is not correct let's have a quick look i'm also see if i can figure it out there's lots of stuff growing back again i would that's so funny Let's get rid of that stuff. I've got me. It filled up that. Uh, <laughs> it filled up that small tank with it. Only took eight, so it didn't last very long to fill that up, did it? Eight, eight buckets of lava in one of those metal barrels. I would have used the um, the other ones, but they're not very reliable. <laughs> we'll put it down there. It's a good place. We can always take lava out of it. The Aquamunda ones, because I think they take sixteen, which is. Uh, a shame right I also added some more stuff in here so I can get rid of the rest of the lava but I should have another eight yes we've got another eight so we can make another we can actually make another barrel but that's only going to take out half of that stuff and I'd like to get rid of all of it but I don't think I want more than a couple of barrels for the time being I think that will oh it's night time already 
Now, night time's not so bad these days because we've got these lanterns and they're going to keep the mobs at bay. Oops, try again. Seven. Eight. So I'll take this with this. And I did cut down the trees over there anyway, just to make sure that when I put the lava down, it's not going to set fire to the rest of the trees for a quick sleep. I should really go and show you the um, the other thing, shouldn't I? There's a, there's a mob over there. Oh, yeah, there's usually one over there, isn't there? I probably should sit up, bring a lantern across over through those trees to stop them spawning as well. As you can see, fire is getting certain things. and The, oh, the trees would, would be too close. You have to make sure they're quite a long way away. That's a creeper, isn't it? Are we are we willing to have a go at creeper? Test out the the shuriken. I think the answer is yes. As long as I can see him now. Where is he? Just a bit in front of me here. I'm zigzagging a bit because he's probably hiding behind a tree. If he's on this level, of course. Where is he? Well, he should be there. Behind that tree. Oh, there he is, look. Yeah, no problem whatsoever. We get us a bit of him. There's a, number, there's a zombie there as well, but I don't think he's, because he's not making any noise. Let's have a look if we can see that zombie. Probably underground. Possibly underground or behind a tree. Oh, I can hear him, but I can't see him. Right, he's directly below me anyway. So he must be all directly above me, one or the other. So he must be underground. So now, I think it's time to go back to the nether. First of all, we're going to make some more of those um, cooling coils. But I've got to be careful with the cooling coils because they're going to make a, a bit of a problem. So a look. Get past those things. What do we need? I need some redstone. I thought I had more redstone than this. Ew. That's strange. I think we'll make eight. Eight sets of cooling coal. So we need some cobblestone. And we need some ice. I don't think I've made any in the meantime. I've forgotten about it. Get rid of the gunpowder. Get rid of the seeds, the cherries. The olive sapling, I'll put it in here for the time being. I'll have to have sort this out, obviously, as we get as we get past that. I do want that. I don't want the vacuum chest stuff. I don't think we need to worry about that. Oh, I have made the cooling coils. I thought I had. <laughs> so we, what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to put some redstone torches beside them. Because that should be enough to light up the, uh, the cooling coils. So, but I'm not wanting to take too many with me. They do stack, so we'll take eight. And then we can put some in tunnels as we go along. Buckets, I'll keep buckets with me. Water, we've got some water. Probably need to make some more. And these we're going to make into, um, let's just do that now. Into metal, into uh, iron sheet metal. Because um, we've got some more in this just here, I think. We've got three. So that would actually give us enough for another barrel, but I won't do that now. Um, Bandage. Let's take a bandage with us. Hang glider might be useful. This pick so has now been upgraded, which is great. So we've got the armor. We don't want that. Why was I putting the other stuff? Because it's not with me. It must be in here. Respirator kit. I would take some more cobblestone because we're probably going to need some cobblestone. I would like to take a backpack with me, but that's going to be a bit difficult. Let's make sure they've got the armour up somewhere sensible. So we've got, we 
can swap that quickly if we need to. The jellied helmet I've got here, which is, should be okay for the time being. Sticks, arrows. I need a bow. <laughs> let's get rid of these arrow, uh, extra two arrows and that. And let's go and have a look. Because I did do this over here. And basically everything from this saddle onwards was new stuff. So I've got Protection 3, Smite 4, Aqua Affinity, Knock Back 2 books. I'm starting to get books now. And a Looting 3, Mending, Lure 2, and a Bow Power 4, Unbreaking. And the one I was using was this Power 5, Unbreaking Bow. And the fishing rod I've been using is this one. But I've still got Curse of the Vanishing, which shouldn't matter because... I'm not sure what roasting does. I still can't, I couldn't find it. So if anybody knows, let me know. And I managed to get a look at the C2 book and put it on that one. So we're getting some pretty good enchants and quite a few saddles, as you may notice. Now, have I got everything that I need that I'm happy about? I'm a bit nervous, I will be honest. <laughs> I don't like going to the never, never very much, especially with this pack, because it's hard. It's very hard in this pack to go to the nether because of the heat. Um, I love this bug. Right, get out, but I'm a bit, we're a bit near. So, what we can do. I've got this one on here. Let's turn this one on for a start. Now this shouldn't, well, I say shouldn't give me too much lag, but it is going to give me some lag, isn't it? Now what's going on? There's a few zombie pigmen around. Let's take, now I should be able to put the temp, temp, no, not yet. It takes a few seconds before this actually starts to work. There we go. So my target is nine. Now I did actually cheat a little bit because fortresses in here are hard enough to find in the nether without being in, without having tough as nails in there. So there's a fortress over here. You can't see because it's black. 257, six blocks away. So let's go and have a look. Make sure we've got that in our hand. Oh, now we go. So I've got the panel here. So we've got to go this way and I'm going to tunnel as much as I can. So let's have a quick look up here, see what's possible up here. Can we tunnel our way across here? I think we can. Because when we tunnel, we can put the... Um, oh, I didn't really bring anything too sensible with me. Let's go anyway. Let's use the... Ooh, nice lag. Oh, terrible. I can't say it's caused by the um, cooling coils at the moment, it's just lag. It might be caused by the cooling coils. But this is pretty awful. Let's just put one set of cooling coils to go down here. Put it down here and put on it beside it a redstone torch. That'll do, yes, fine. So. Now, how far have we got to go? 230 blocks. This lag is going to make life a bit difficult. Tell you what, I shall stop recording now because the lag is so awful it's going to be bad for viewers. And I'll come back when I've got a bit nearer to this fortress. So I shall see you in a, a few seconds. Well, of course I died. <laughs> Not really a surprise, but uh, the problem was I died out through here. And I've got this lag, this lag problem. Oh, has that torch gone too? Oh, no, not good. I want to put this on. Oh, oh, I better go back and turn on the other one because I'm going to die if I'm not too careful. <laughs> put this one on. Now, this one's the bad one. This is the one that causes all the lag, I think. So let's just um, put on the <laughs> put on tough as nails again. So all right, we're going to come down to twelve. That's not too bad. It comes down fairly fast. But unfortunately, all the redstone stuff's over there. 
Uh, I don't have anything with me whatsoever. I think we can get a little bit further with this one. Let's try this. I don't like the gas being around here either, so we're able to go and mine quite quickly down through here. But well, this this pack's this pick's fairly fast. I just quickly built a bronze pick and put a diamond on it. But as you can see, the lag caused. I'd already dug this through, so I don't. As you can see. Ah, uh, that's not too bad. I can put some lava down there like that. Oh, a bit nearer. Right, that should disappear. I want to go and bet those magna creams if it's possible. So I was building stuff up there to actually block block the lava. So that should disappear now. Let's break. The, ooh, let's put this down here um, and go back again. <laughs> I want to move. I know this is bad for me. But we'll quickly jump into here and cool down a little bit more. At least I've dug through to that. Oh, I'm getting that is. Actually, it causes lag. We come down to a reasonable temperature now, so that's not too bad. So I should be able to break that block easily enough and get my stuff back. Tell you what we'll do, we don't need the pickaxe. The bucket was there to pick up the lava. I can put the, the bucket of water down, but of course it's in the nether, so it should disintegrate or disappear. How long is it going to take me to go down? I go down one more layer, I th level I th think NO18 will do. Hopefully I remember to bring this. Ah, oh, it's all right. I've got worst case. Worst is we go and pick up the other one. So that should be able to break this grave quickly now. Yeah, good. Now let's put on the cooling armor straight away. And I've got my sword over here. That's good. I've got some buckets here. I can pick up that lava. That's good. I've got the pickaxe. I want to, possibly that's too strong. This pickaxe. Um, I want the the stone pickaxe which is here good we've got these and we've got the f that. good right that'll do for now let's go and break my way through here again and pick up this lava block here good that was the, the problem now while i'm here i was about to break that one down and put into here a cooling coil stick that on there now that's probably going to cause some lag, is it? Actually, it's not even working. According to this. Okay, so I'll take it off. Probably because it's not got enough of a roof. Anyway, let's go and carry on digging. I'll see you in a short while. Hopefully, this time I'm not going to die too many times. I don't expect it to be... <laughs> So my survival rate to be too high because it is really hard in the nether with the um, tough as nails uh, and rough tweaks of course doesn't help at all so where are we going to go to 220 blocks I'll see you in a, a while well the fortress is quite near now what have we got here closed down oh, oh I've got to go up a little bit 20 meters away and I can no, it's okay, I think. Uh, there were a few places where I was... I'm being a bit more careful now, you see. I'm just digging them along. And I'm actually trying to go along here as far as I can, about four blocks. So that we can see if there's going to be any... Um, I still need to go up another bit, don't we? If there's any lava that's hiding behind. Is the odd block of lava. And I think granite right, should be okay. So let's just go back and dig up another. Stand out the way here. Another act can quite often contain one. I'm not sure about granite though. Still, uh, okay, 14 meters. So we need to get one more, I think. Because the, the mark will be at my feet. <laughs> How do I know? Well, you know, I, did, I went to spectator mode and cheated a little bit to find out exactly where the entrance was. So, as I said, it's really dangerous here. And I didn't get killed by any mob so far, which is actually good. There's always a risk. I've had to go back to the um, 
portal like once or twice. Ten meters, eight meters, okay. We're getting nearer. And here we are. Ah fantastic. Okay. Just having a look at the map if there's any lava above our heads. Doesn't seem to be anything special. Here we have one force. Ah, oh, okay, let's break away this one here. Can I break it? No, but it's kind of good. Now, we should be able to put down the cooling. Ooh, my inventory's a bit full. <laughs> oh, way too full. What can I do about this? Not much, actually. I think I'll keep them. No, I don't need another place to get rid of them. Let's put one of these down here. And let's put a torch on top of it. I think we should get this like also got my bottle, which I probably don't need either. It's a bit awkward. Let's put a torch down. Good. So I want to put down a redstone torch. Let's put that in place number eight and put down the redstone torch. Good. That lights up. I shouldn't be too bad. We don't need that bottle, so I'm going to have a look. Make sure we've got a decent weapon in the hand, first of all. Right, nothing there. Good. big open space and something nasty over there. I saw it. Oh, blazes. Now, can I get them? Nope. Uh oh. Very bad. Very bad. Probably die. <laughs> get out of here quick. Take my bandage. I've got my bow though. I bow might be able to do him. It's gone. Ah, too low. Hopefully we don't hit any zombie pigment in the process of doing this. But if we've got blazes, that's a good start. What have they gone to? They do spawn. Oh, with a skeleton. Oh, there they are. Look. Just hold it down. There's a spawner. Now I can't light up the spawner, which is a shame. But maybe we got. Maybe we get some. Oh, we've got no space have I help spells I don't see any um to put a torch down here and block it off oh I don't think blocking off will do much good but oops there they are one what's up on there I really need a blaze rod. <laughs> oh, there's a couple there now. Let's get those. Oh, a couple, yes. Let's get rid of these torches. Good. Into the fire. I'll get rid of you. I think I'm just going to get out of here. But as you can see, this missed. It's quite an awesome weapon. I think I've got enough. <laughs> I don't know how many I've got, but we're going to go home. And I'm going to not run. Maybe I can run a bit, actually. Twenty one, is that a is that a deadly temperature? I think it probably is. What's the temperature will come down here and my health is really poor. But it might be a no, nope, I'm gonna leave that. Glowstone will take some glowstone with us too. Where's my pickaxe? No, I can't take any glowstone. Oh, I'll tell you what I can do, I can probably eat. 
These might not work. No, I'll come back and get my glowstone another day. So the armour is a bit weak, but it's actually good enough to... Actually, it's not so bad, the slam arm. I'm looking at the six armour, which isn't too bad. I was expecting it to be worse. But 24, I think, is deadly. So, I shall say goodbye. I'll give you a quick wave. Um, <laughs> I wish you all the best. It's been a bit exciting going through the nether. So anyway, until next time, bye for now.